Oh, Jason Carroll, got a question. Hey, Desi, I just wonder about your approach to this season and, and kind of the leadership role you continue to take on and, and how much you've kind of helped with the transfers and, and the freshmen that have come in to kind of get everybody ready for what they're going to face. Um, I know we got a lot of new faces in this league, and uh, I'm one of the oldest guys in the league, so it's my responsibility to lead by example, but, like, use my voice and use my schemes that I know because I'm the really the – besides Ethan, the only one returning in the SEC. So I got to be the one to be more vocal because I got more games on my belt. So therefore, I got to be there for the other guys, especially the older guys and the younger guys. Bob? Desi, you got uh, preseason all-SEC recognition. Just just wonder what, what you thought about that, how that makes you feel. I mean, I'm blessed and I'm honored to get, get preseason all-SEC second team. But that's based on what I did last year. And now starting Wednesday, I got to live up to the expectations. You, you've obviously been a productive guy, but how do you feel you can take your game to, to another level this season? I mean, I'm, upper, I'm an upper class and now I got a lot of games on my belt. I know what the SEC and the conference like, and I'm just ready to showcase how hard I've been working all summer long and just ready to showcase and me and my guys, and my teammates just – just show how much we worked this summer. Just show how ready we're going to be starting Wednesday. I got a couple more, but I'll, I'll pass it back to Mike. Scotty? Hey, Desi, following your offseason workouts and training on, on social media, you, you use the hashtag bet on you a lot. Can you tell me about you know, maybe that, that mindset and kind of how it's fueled you? Um, it's based because, like, I've been an underdog my whole life, just having an underdog mentality. You know, you're going to have people that knock you, that criticize you each and every day, but you got to bet on yourself. And even though you might be missed some days or you have an off day, you still got to wake up the next day and go go tackle it, go tackle the game, you know, and just try to get better. No matter what people say about you, you know what you can do and you got to keep getting better. Did you add anything to your game between last season and this season? You feel like you've, you've added anything? I mean, I developed. I mean, I I know I know what I need to work on. I develop a right hand and the um, pull up game and stuff like that. Just just but working on my ball handling mostly just because I'm trying to get ready for like bigger defenders and bigger, like people guarding me, so I can just know what I need to do. Touch. Does he, you kind of got off to a slow start last year, especially shooting the ball, but then picked it up I and mean, we're, we're really good down the stretch. Are you confident you'll be able to kind of pick up where you left off this season? That's the main goal, just pick up what I left off. You know, even though I like – you either a good shooter or you're a bad shooter. I mean, I'm, I'm about crazy for keep shooting the way I did, but, like, I know I, I'm a good shooter, so I kept on going with it, stayed in the gym. I know I'll keep working on it, so – I, I ain't want to go over it like I did the first couple of games, but I did. But everything happened for a reason. If I'm a shooter, I'm going to keep on shooting. And obviously, that's what I did. And I believe in my work. And it paid off at the last nine games. And I, I feel like I was one of the hottest players in the country. Curtis? Hey, Desi, just with the way things ended so abruptly last season, you know, you guys were, you know, primed to kind of make a little bit of a run there in the SEC tournament. You played great in particular in that last game against Vanderbilt. Uh, with the way that ended so quickly, is, has that motivated you? You know, is it going to be a little sweeter going into this season, have a little unfinished business? I mean, yes, sir, 100%, man. Like, it's crazy because, like, we all wanted to go to the tournament. A lot of guys hadn't been to the tournament on a, a previous team. And, like, if we won against South Carolina, we had a good opportunity to get in the SCA tournament. So the way it ended is it ended rapidly. But, like, we got a chip on our shoulder. We know we ain't playing eight months. So the main goal is try to get out there and just go give it our all starting Wednesday against Miss Valley State. Sure, and, and this is your third go around now. So, what what stands out to you about this group in particular this year? How hard everybody work. You know, we got a lot of dogs on our team. We got a lot more people that can really put the ball in the basket. A lot more defensive threats. You know, anybody can guard the one through the five. And you know, we got a lot of people that's really locked in to what Coach Must Coach Mustman saying, and uh, we ready to start it off Wednesday. Nikki. Can't, you got mute. I can't hear you.
Try again, Nikki. Nate. Dizzy, not that you'd want to repeat it, but just how much did fighting through that early slump help you as a player as the season went on? I mean, it was difficult at times, but, like, I know I'm a good shooter. I know I'm a good player, but, like, I'm not going to knock myself for missing them shots because I'm supposed to make them, you know. So I stayed in the gym, stayed consistent, just working on my craft, and eventually hard work pays off, and um, it paid off at the end, sir. Did you feel your defense and the rest of your game held up during all that? Um, for sure. Uh, I feel like defense lead to offense. Uh, of course, I'm going to stick to that. You know, that's all that matters. Thanks. Nikki? Okay, do you have me now? Yes. Okay. Desi, do you feel like this team has much of an identity yet, or do you feel like that's going to develop over the first few games? And, and if you do, like, what are, what are some of the calling cards of this team? I mean, I can't really say because – we, we all got to see Wednesday because we would get a real live play. But I feel like one of our identities, we're going to go hard and try to, like, out, outplay everybody with how hard we play. Got the dog mentality. Randy? Oh, <clears throat> my mic is on mic. Uh, the freshman, if you would, Des, you talk about the freshman and how you feel like they're going to mix into the rotation. I mean, all four of the freshmen got some aspect to the game that's very unique to this team and going to help them a lot. You know, each freshman, they, they all good, so you can't pick one of them out. You're like, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they got their own identity. Bob, follow up? Yeah, Desi. Um, you know, you uh, you scored pretty consistently once you broke out of your slump, but especially off the bench, I think you averaged like 14.7 points the last how many games you came off the bench. Um, is it important to you to start since you're one of the older guys, or would you like to come off the bench again, or what, what do you see your role being in that regard? Um, to be honest, whether I come off the bench or whether I start, I just want to win. And I've always been a team guy, team player, but like, I really believe like individual success gonna come with team success, you know. So therefore, if I start, I start. If I come off the bench, I come off the bench. But like I got goals with it, you know. If I come off the bench, I want to be six man of the year and still get all conference in this league. And if I start, I got bigger goals, you know. Be try to get SEC player of the year or therefore get first team, second team, or third team. But it ain't all about me. It's all about winning and winning games to get to the NCAA tournament and try to win the SC tournament as well. And, and then Devo, I, I think he's 6'3". I think that's what he's listed at. You know, he won the dunk contest the other day before the Red White game. I was wondering what you thought about that. I mean, what do you think about a guard winning that as, as your guard? And just what, what do you think about his overall game? When he, what, what does he bring to the table for you guys? I wasn't shocked at all that Devo won the dunk contest because I knew that he had bounce. Um, out the world because of what he was doing with his TikToks and stuff like that. And I was watching it. I knew he had bounce. But, like, what, what Devo bring to the table is, like, he, he hustled for the loose balls. He he get the rebounds. He, he want to hold the best defense, like, the best – um the other best player on the team and stuff like that. He all about winning and he can finish at, at the rim very good. And he's been working on his side and it's very, been very consistent. Thanks. Jason? Hey, Desi, I think the outside expectations changed. I mean, when, when Isaiah came back, you guys were projected to be a top 25 kind of team, and then he enters the draft again, and I think he fall down into the 40s and 50s. What's the inside expectation for this roster with knowing what you guys have and the depth that you have, the most depth that I think you guys have had in, in several years? I mean, losing Isaiah, it, it hurt. But at the end of the day, we got guys going to step up. And I feel like we got the freshman, myself, and we all looking forward to get back in the top 25, you know, in, in the conversation. That's the main goal, you know. So every guy on this team got a different aspect, and it's all going to come together, and we all got good chemistry. Two more, Nate, then Hutch. Nate first. 
Desi, just as far as as trying to kind of fit all this together, just how how's that gone? As far as everybody kind of blending their game, and you're all a lot of guards to try and try and sort things out. Um, I mean, nothing handed to us. It's a battle each and every day for a spot, mm -hmm. you know. So therefore, we're gonna keep competing and keep getting chemistry with each other, and just see how we do Wednesday, and just try to shock the world. Gotcha. Desi, Coach Muss has said that, you know, without having Isaiah, without having Mason, he's still trying to figure out who that guy is going to be in, in critical moments, uh, taking big shots. Do you think you could be that guy for this team this year? I mean, I can be that guy, but we also got multiple guys. It ain't just about me. It's about the other team, my other teammates as well. So if Coach need me, be that guy, be that guy. If you got somebody else, you got somebody else. But at the end of the day, it's all about winning and all come together. All right, thanks, Des. We'll bring in Devo now.